Hello everyone, this is Ben with ERP Connect Consulting. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to publish web service APIs in Business Central so that you can interact with the data through integration tools such as Smart Connect, any other middleware tools, or really any integration tools in general that you either want to push or pull data outside of Business Central. We'll use Smart Connect as our example today, and we'll try to interface with the customer page inside of Business Central. So if I was in Smart Connect and I wanted to uh, access that service, if I click Add Service and just start typing in Customers, you'll notice I have options like Customer Ledger Entries and Customer Card Excel. These are just the out-of-box web services that are published. Typically, anytime you are either pushing or pulling data uh, from Business Central, you will need to publish the page that you're looking to access. So if I go into Business Central, for example, I would just find my web services page. You can find that through the search bar here by typing in web services and then clicking new. Uh, you will want to look for the page. So I'll click the drop down here, update that to page. And then I will type in 21 here for my customer page. Um, note that we are accessing the page and not the table. So a lot of times people want to type in 18 here for the customer card. You are looking for the page. I've got a separate video that I've linked here showing you how to see every page and table of any uh, screen that you're on in Business Central. So that can be very helpful when looking for the page number here. Uh, the last thing you'll need is a service name. So I can just call this uh, customer table SC for Smart Connect, for example, and then I would hit the checkbox here to publish it, and then you'll notice my API string gets populated here. Now, if we go back into Smart Connect, um, if I click Cancel and Add Service, you'll notice that it still isn't here yet. Um, if I click Cancel, I will need to refresh the service list. A lot of integration tools uh, have similar options, but once I refresh the service list, it should be accessible within my services. So if I go back here, type in customers again, you'll see that I've got that customer table SC. This is now um, available to be interacted with because I published it within uh, my Business Central web services page. So this is just the beginning of how to get connected to web services and how to push and pull data uh, from Business Central using Smart Connect, which again is just one tool we can use to get data in and out of Business Central. We really appreciate you watching the video today. There will be more to come. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Please also reach out and subscribe if you have any other needs or questions. We're always happy to help. So we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.